Hello guys, it's Blood here, and today I'll be speaking to you about the Infernal Calibolg weapon. Now, to basically acquire this weapon, press the Trust Chest, press Shops, Living Shadow Rares, and you can acquire this weapon for 3,000 Adventure Coins. Once purchased, all you want to do is head over to Underworld. I'm just going to go to a private room. And just head over to Deeg, or Deej, however you guys like to pronounce them, I have no idea. Same for items in the game, I guess everyone's pronunciation is totally different. A random person. Now press quest and you'll get a button at the bottom for the owners only. Now for the infernal cannibal item, all you've got to do is head to sticks, which is STYX on the map. Uh, go to Dage's palace and head right to the end. There'll probably be around six people still attacking them. And once done, you will get this weapon as a um, reward, I believe. It's not 100% though. I'd say it's around 50 or 60, but I could be wrong there. Now to pretty much complete the second quest, which is the main one I like to focus on. This is the let's just get right up. Infernal Legion Betrayal. Now to basically start this quest, just go left from where you come in and follow the screen all the way off. Once you arrive in the first room full of fiends, all you want to do is kill them until you achieve the um fiend failed or fiend failed uh two of two, which I'll show you right now. These Dread Fiends of Nulgath, they're not that hard to kill, as long as you have a good class that make you live, then you are fine. All you want to do is get two of these real fast, and the drop rate isn't that high, but it's not also that low, so they should be quite easy to get. And um, Once I get the second one, I will be straight back. Okay, and there we go, we've just achieved the second one. Now basically go to your chat bar and copy this exact map name, Fotia, or Fotia. Now go to a private room unless there's six uh, people in the main public rooms and you just want to kill five of these. Now the only problem is that the drop rate isn't that high so you may have to kill around possibly around 17 to 20 to actually um, obtain the five of five requirements but if you go okay no one's still here. If you keep room hopping if you have no one it's really not hard maybe around five minutes of killing. And I'll be back once I achieve the 5, so we'll see you in a minute. And there we go guys, it took around maybe 5 minutes, so I was totally wrong there. And all you want to head to is head straight back to Dago Dage at Underworld. And as you'll see right now, once we get there, all you want to do is turn the quest in. And you will get 50 Legion tokens. Now. I would personally say it's the best and easiest way for Legion tokens in game at the current moment. Just because the quest itself takes around, I would say, um, 8 minutes on average if you are going slow. But if you're not recording and you're going straight through the quest, you'll probably average out on about 3 to 4 minutes. I'll probably make another video of me just doing a quick speedrun of the quest, which will pretty much be... The video I'm doing now will have the voiceover just to see how fast I can actually finish it. And that is it guys, to basically sum up what you get from the two weapons, well the quests. And I hope you did find this video informative and I will see you in the next one. See you later.